this video we're going to discuss how to post grades in Infinite Campus for the end of the semester. So I'm in a teaching center. I'm actually logged in <coughs> as Dan Souser because I don't have any classes in the high school. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. I'm in the sandbox because it's orange up here. So I'm going to show you how to post grades, multiple grades across multiple classes. Super easy to do. You just can pick any grade any class you want and once you have picked that class you just go over to grades over here and then you just hit post grades once you have post grades clicked you want to make sure that it says semester one up here and the tasks it says semester also and then you'll see a multiple post grades and once you click on that <clears throat> you'll get a screen that looks like this a couple of things you need to do here one make sure it says semester one and two, this is where you can add your classes. So if I just click next to this Algebra 2 one, I can click multiple classes. And they don't even have to be the same class. They can just go through and <clears throat> be whatever classes you have. Now I will tell you the pass and fail classes right now, for some reason, are not being able to post. So you may have to do those by hand. Um, I'm working on it. So, uh, but just know that you may have to do those by hand because those will pop up a message that says the parent standard is not correct or something like that. So, um, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that where it says all tasks, you want to go to semester. Once you have semester chosen, you're going to come down here and it says post from term. And this is where you're going to choose semester one because that's what it is. It'll be semester two if it's semester two. <clears throat> and then you're going to say, I want to post from the semester. So it should say semester one. You have all your classes listed. Make sure the filter by task standard is semester. And then this says semester one and semester. After that, you can click on the next button. It's going to take you to the comments, which are optional. Um, you probably, this is if you want to add a comment across the whole class. Um, you can add comments individually, and I'll show you that in just a minute. So um, most of the time you can just say next, and then it's going to preview you. And it's going to say, okay, we're going to update 22. So if you have 22 kids in your class, that's how many grades it's going to update. 27, 24, 21. Once you have that done, you just go ahead and hit post. <clears throat> then it'll come up and say, ta-da, here's your results. That's what we did. Zero new grades. Um, the spreadsheet don't do it it just comes up and shows you this um, and then you just hit the close button and then once I'm here I can see that my grades have been posted da -da -da. so they're over here they match the grades that are in progress they match these grades over here but let's say you want to change somebody's grade all right so you got somebody that you need to change their grade super easy to do you just click on this little button right here and then you can change this person's grade either up or down. All right. So you can even make it be an incomplete if you need to. Um, just remember, once you do that, you do have to hit the save button up here and then it'll say saved. Um, and then you can go back and if you need to change it again, you can change it again Oops. and change it back to what it was and hit save again. All right. You can also add comments in here. So if there's this person you need to add a comment, you can just type whatever comment you want. Once again, if you type comments, you can hit save. You can um, go through all your classes. Oops, this one says I have changes. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and leave. But I can go through all my classes and I can see that they're all posted up. Now, the students will also be able to tell. Um, so if I click on the student, I can actually go information and if I go to their grades the students will see that if it's posted it'll turn green so um, and then the parents will also be getting the option to have on the side over here it'll say report cards on the parent side and it'll just show them in their report cards for some reason the report cards aren't showing up in the portal right now um, we're working on that too so anyway um, that is how you can um, <clears throat> post grades multiply across um, different grades. Super easy to do. If you have any questions, let me know. There will also be instruction sheets in your mailboxes for you to kind of 
file away, keep on hand, and just look at it if you need to do that. All right. So um, let me know if you have any problems.